Hey guys, I'm taking a little time here hunting this morning. Got to go to work in about an hour, hour and a half here, so I'm doing a little close to home hunting. A little sidewalk strip here, a few houses down from mine. I've hunted it before, but I'm hunting odd signals now with the E track, and I got this nickel, 1982. So, see if we can get something else before I go. I've got to go off to work. So. Well, guys, I wanted to show you this. I just dug this hole right here and down about 18 inches I found all these nails and amongst those nails I found this Missouri tax token it's in real good shape but most of these are square nails they must have lost the whole box when they were building the house but I'm just digging at these signals here I've hunted here many many times but that's a Missouri tax token down with all them nails and it pulled it out. Of course, it was an iffy signal, but something just didn't seem quite right, so I dug it. And it was right in there with all them, so that's pretty cool. I gotta go home real quick, and my pinpointer's messing up. I don't know if it's got a dead battery or what, so I'm gonna walk over to the house and see if I can get one going here. I'll try to get back here shortly. Now, this one looks like a butter knife off of a kid's play set what that is. I remember those when I was little. Little aluminum butter knives. That's cool. On to the next one. This one here came up 1329 on the E-Track. Another Missouri tax token. Alright. Guys, this is probably going to be my last dig here. I ended up with a wheat. I gotta go to work. 1945, I believe. Right on the edge of the curb there. See, there's a street there, it's a curb. I'll take it. All right. The guys come out here, still and having to go to work and I hit me the hole right after the penny there and I dug a buffalo, 1927. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm pretty sure it's a 27. I can read the date. Yeah, I think it is a 1927. It's datable though. So that's that's cool. In pretty good shape too. Alright. I'm excited about that. 1927 Buffalo. Awesome. 1313 on the E-Track. Guys, Missouri Mike back again. It's Sunday afternoon about 2 o'clock. It gets dark around 5. It's mid-January. I'm digging in the vacant lots here. The guy said there was two homesteads here, so I haven't hit very much of this, but I figured I'd come over and work it out today. And on the sidewalk strip, which I'd already hunted, I just dug this big different square nail. My first dig. And I'm digging about everything because there's old stuff here. So I'm going to be digging a lot of junk, a lot of iffy signals. So what I'm going to get is probably a lot of trash, a lot of unwanted signals. But if I can find that one good signal, that's what I'm after. It's Sunday afternoon, so, and it's cold out. We had a little ice storm this morning. And uh, we got about a quarter inch of ice or a little less, but it was slick out for a while. So I didn't get out, but it was cold too. So wind's blowing out of the north about 10 mile an hour. It's not too warm right now. It's supposed to get to 40, but that ain't happening. Maybe 35. On to the next one. Well, guys, there's my coin. It's down there about, oh, I don't know. This is a, it was about this deep. So that's about what, six, seven inches, maybe eight. Thing was on the edge. See it sitting there in the clod? It's right here. Look at this good one. It was a terrible signal, like 1748, which is pure junky. We'll see what it is. Uh-oh. I believe it to be an Indian. Nope. Got full. It's older wheat, though. I was hoping for an Indian, but it's a little bit too big. Boy, she's waxed though. 
That's what I just got through telling you. I was going to dig some junky signals, and this was a terrible signal. It came up with something nobody would dig. It's terrible. Bounced in and out, but there was enough of a high tone there that I dug it. I can't make the date out, but I know it's old just looking at it. I'll have to clean it up on the cleanup time, but uh, let me see if I can get a date on it. I'll be right back. Well, guys, that last coin was a 1919D, and this one's a 1918S. And boy, it's in good shape, too. It was down there, not too deep. Boy, it has to have some trash around it because it had a terrible signal tone to it, like a 17 something. But I dug it, and that's what it ended up being. 1918S. Second week in the third and three digs. Two of them, these two are old so far, so that's cool. See if we can get some more junky signals out of here. Alright, guys, I got me a hole here opened up. And I, I got a target down there, I can hear it. Boy, it hit strong on the machine, though. I don't know. How deep it is. And there it is right there. What is that? Dang, it's an Indian. How awesome is that, man? Right on the edge of the road there. Right there. That dude's cleaning up pretty good. 1904 Indian. That's well, all right. That's my third Indian at this site. It's pretty cool. Awesome. I get a picture of that. 1904 Indian. See if I can get another one here. That's awesome. Mm, that's my third old wheat. I got 1926, 1918, 1919. That looks like a 1926. That's a good one, though. Good green one. That thing was shallow. Only about an inch deep, but it came up right by a nail. So I dug it. Junky signal. Hey guys, I'm going to try to do a live dig here. A little tripod set up here. And let's come in. Another junky signal. It'll probably be trash because I'm filming it. You know, that's how it always happens. Yeah, that'll be one of those ones that'll take me a year to find it. It's come up like a the high the the right number on the help if I turn it on with it. The right number was a real high number, but I kept bouncing off the low numbers. They was changing, so it's probably junk. Uh, yep, it is. It's brass, though. That's why it was doing that, I guess. Or it's high-grade aluminum, one of those nuts for nuts for uh, electrical. You know what I mean? All right. Well, uh, wasn't a coin, uh, but anyway, I'm digging everything I can. It stays in the machine. It's got any kind of decent number to it so I expect to dig a lot of trash but I'm digging a lot of good stuff too so let's see what else we can get I'm gonna keep it real here I'll show you that one more time and go on to the next one I'll try to do another live dig here shortly all right guys I'm gonna dig this one live here see that or not Got a little tripod thingy up here it came in as a good signal though it wasn't really junky it had a little bit of bounce to it but it stayed in the machine good so about four or five inches maybe if that it may not be quite that deep so we'll see what we got here yeah there it is it's a brass or copper end off of a doodaddy. I thought it was something better than that, but like I say, it, you just never know. Yep, yeah, that probably was it. I'll check the hole again, but I'm thinking that was it. So 
we'll go on to the next one. So guys, I'm going to dig this one live here. It's been a while since I found anything. <clears throat> this came up as a 1344, but it was bouncy. Like it had some other stuff in with it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, boy, it's hard, real hard right here, too. There's houses been moved and tore down, so it didn't seem like it was that deep, but it, it, it may be, let's say, five inches or so. A lot of rock and stuff. And this dirt here has been moved dirt. You can sure tell that. Sure. Like I say, there's it was down there, so it may be. I may have to dig a little deeper. Lots of rock in here, though. Let's see if I can get a reading here. Hmm. Well, it's not good, is it? Let me go a little deeper. There's a big rock right there. I want to avoid getting it out of there. I'm going to side it there. Maybe. Still nothing. Hmm. Yep. I'm gonna go a little deeper and then I'll turn the camera off. I don't have a signal here because it may be down. One of them ghost readings, you know. That's how it usually happens. Well, I'll take this rock out. Wasn't wanting to, but I'm gonna have to end up doing that. Oh, man, it hadn't rained in a while. It's just the kind of ground this is. It's got a lot of fill on it and stuff. All right, I guess rather than wasting all the camera. I'll turn it off and see if I can find it. I'll turn it back on. All right, I was off a little bit on my digging spot. So let's see what it is. There it is. And it's a bolt. That was weird. Oh. Well, that's something else down there. That whole deal was weird. Maybe it was something other than that boat. Maybe that boat was the target that was... What is going on? All right, well. Well, the machine says it's still down there, so. Let's see if we can get her out here. I'm getting tired of this one. Oh, come on. Well, I'm sure you guys are getting tired of it too. 
All right, I'm gonna turn the machine off here. See what happens. Yeah, well, there's another wheat. It's almost dark now. I got five wheats and one Indian. I can't tell the date on that one. I'll have to clean it up. About out of battery power too. My camera's messing up and everything. So let's see if it'll get to focus here. Maybe, maybe not. All right. There we go. I can't tell if you can get a date or not. But I'm about out of battery power here. Let's maybe find one more before I head out. Hey guys, <clears throat> girls. It's there Mike back again with another exciting cleanup. And, uh, well, I'm going to name this one uh, Metal Detecting Some Terrible Signals with the E Track. So, Here's what I did. I hunted a spot and uh, <clears throat> I pretty much dug everything that was legible. I said it's a legible. I said that I could read. And so some of these signals that I dug were kind of iffy as far as the numbers, but in a lot of cases the sound sounded like it maybe maybe something good. Now, like I say, not all these were were good. I threw a bunch of trash away, so this is just some of the better trash. And uh, if there is such a good thing, it's better trash. But it's trash. And we all dig it. <clears throat> I know I do. I'm sure everybody else does. Kind of like whenever you watch a hunting show, you know. You'd hardly ever see them wound one or miss one or shoot a doe. And it's all about the buck, you know. And coin hunting's got a little bit that way too. It's all about that good old find or that good ring or, or that stuff. But in reality... That doesn't always happen that way. I've had lots of bad hunts, but I try to make the most of it and make the best of it and and go on and, and realize that not every hunt's a good hunt. And not every hunt are you gonna find a wad of treasure, a wad of silver, or, or those things, and, and usually that's the case for me. If I come up with something really neat, then I'm really happy with it. I've done exceptionally well so far this year on the Indian head coins. I found a lot of Indian heads for whatever reason that's been really good to me so far, and I'm I'm still basking in the glory of the Indian head. Uh, to me, that's getting up with a hundred plus years, and and you're looking at something that you know, even though it's not silver, it's it's still old coin. So I like to find them, and I, I've been lucky. I found a lot of Indian heads, but I just haven't found a lot of old silver. But anyway. That's enough jabbering, so let's see what we got here. Got this deal here. It says uh, add a weight or take a weight. Let me grab my glasses here. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh. All right, it's going to show you this, too. I got this the other day. It's a lighting thing. It's got a pretty cool. It's got a magnifier on this end. And, light you can lift this up and hold it back it's pretty neat but i got it at harbor freight if you can have one around you guys this place i used a 20 percent off coupon so it wasn't too bad i think it's about 30 bucks it's a little bit of money but it should last a long time if you take care of it and then i won't have to worry about my eyes I can't see and stuff i can read exactly what the dates are in most cases really lights them up okay plus i got this little daily too but i've had it for years uh Okay, got an electrical fitting here. I think it's aluminum. Got a hub of some sort. Another one of these electrical deals. And it's got writing on that one. It says Jesselyn 4SOA. I'm not sure. This one. Don't think it's got anything on it. At least I didn't clean it very good. Okay, so. Got a file. First coin we're going to look at is at 1982. Yeah, Buff, or Je uh, Jefferson and 1988 Jefferson. Those are my two Jeffersons. Only had four zinc pennies this hunt. Had one lawnmower hit, 1982. It's good copper. 
1962. That's got some good detail to that one too. Got a <clears throat> fake ring here. It's real light play ring. Got a uh, quarter. It's clad of course. In good shape though. Eagle looks good. I'm not sure. I think they quit making these around 2000 or so. That's a 96. Got this copper item here. I'm not sure what it is either. Got a play knife for house, I guess. It looks like it's been burnt. Now all these nails that you're seeing are all all of those there's a bunch of them are all iron nails and they weren't all in the same hole there's different types of nails here I spun these too and that's what they turned out tumbled them I mean that's how they turned out so I dug about half of these in one hole and half of them in a couple others and kind of mixed in there piece of copper solid copper there Old door handle off some item. I'm not sure what that was. All right, now on to the better coins. This one is really wore out. I probably couldn't have seen it, but I did look through it. I believe it to be in 1911. It's pretty wore though. The 44. That one's all right. Seemed like them. 44, 45 era coins. They clean up really nice. 1918S. Got some good green tint to that one. 1919S. Boy, I found a ton of 1919s this year. My gosh. Dates wore pretty good on that one. That one's wore pretty slick. I don't know what it was. They must have made a couple billion of them that year 1926d that was a nice one got some good cheekbones there on Lincoln and the weed ears look like they got some good lines in them yeah I'd have to call that at least fine I'm not a judge or nothing but what I've read I got a 27 buffalo so it's got a date on it you can read the 27 pretty good, so it declares it's 1927. But it's it's in pretty good shape. The Indian looks good. All the features are good on the headdress. And on the back the buffalo has got some great detail to it. So it's kind of a good one there, really. Even though the 27 is all you can see good. It's still a dated one. A lot of these just dates wore off of them. So if you get one with a date, that's that's good, really. All right, my best oldest one here is a 19 Indian 04 on this hunt. I found a ton of Indians so far this year. Like I say, and they keep coming to me too. So oh, well, I'll take them. 1904 Indian. All right, guys, had a great hunt. Got a little cool weather coming tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. I'll probably do some hunting tomorrow and get another video up for you shortly. I've got a couple more I've got to work up. But anyway, you guys get a chance to get out and dig. And until next time, this is Mike, and I'm out.